a quick nod if i am audible and visible welcome back to your very own youtube channel and i am your mentor your friend your educator dr hitesh nathani and today we'll be discussing some very important image based questions in anesthesia in today's case in today's yes a quick nod guys if i am audible yeah all right all right all right so thank you for that confirmation guys yes so today's session we are going to be discussing some previous years image based questions which have been asked also some of the questions which can be asked in the future as well right so this is a very important session for all of you to actually find out which are the images the trend which is going on currently for the examinations all right so everybody is here with me so every question will be a quiz based question right hi dr rohi hello success good evening how are you doing hi dr divya i hope you guys are doing good today yes so it will be a quiz based scenario right every question will be poll based and it will be an image which i'll share with you and you have to answer accordingly all right hi santhia firefly surya mavendra hello 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 everybody welcome back thank you all for joining in for today's session hello prakash so yes so i believe everybody is here with us today and we are going to be starting the session right away all right so first question on your screen which is there right identify the positions right the options are there option a is is it a tendelenburg option b is it a reverse tendelenburg position option c is it a lithotomy position option d is it a lateral decubitus or option e is it a jack knife position right this is a previous year asked question right not exactly the same image was asked but similar one was asked right so i'm getting variety of answers majority of you are telling that it is option a or b a or b all right all right all right maximum number of you have said that it is reverse tendelenburg position and i want to tell you all of you are correct right all those who have said that it is tendelenburg position guys i like to show you one image which is here right so look at the position most important and most frequently seen position under anesthesia is the supine position right second one prone position guys tell me in the comment section where do we see or where do we use prone position under anesthesia for which surgeries do we require prone position per se right which are the surgeries where we have to make the patient prone right very commonly done surgeries nowadays it is exactly correct success bang on it is spine surgery right so most of the times uh, other surgeries are also there but mostly for spine surgery you will see this position every now and then right for spine surgery or spine procedure right now you can see the two images right this is the image which was asked in this question it is reverse trendelenburg position and all of you have given correct answer for this all right vertebral surgery spine surgery yes everybody of you are correct pilonidal most of the times deepak what we do is we give a lithotomy position all right ah uh, it depends upon the position of the sinus as well right if they are going to take that z patch and vy plasty is going to be done so they make the position prone as well for times right it depends upon the surgical procedure how much excision are they going to be doing with that all right deepak so prone position yes pilonidal sinus i'll agree with you the so second tell me which is this position here yes where the head is low right where the head is low what is that position reverse trendelenburg exactly correct so this is reverse trendelenburg position right for lap coli firefly will do reverse trendelenburg or trendelenburg right so this is a trendelenburg position where head is low right so reverse trendelenburg fire firefly for lap coli will do reverse trendelenburg or trendelenburg exactly correct yes we will do a reverse trendelenburg right la so firefly you are exactly correct so it is a reverse trendelenburg that will do for lap coli wonderful so this is a lithotomy position that you are able to see this is the jack knife position knee chest position kidney position nothing but it is like your lateral position just that there is a wedge or you make the position of the kidney little appearing 
करेक्ट ऑल राइट सो येस दिव्या एवरीबडी ऑफ यू हैव गिवन करेक्ट आंसर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन करेक्ट आंसर यूर फॉर दिस इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इज रिवर्स टेंडेलन बुक पोजिशन राइट हेड इज अब राइट हेड इज अब इफ हेड इज बिलो इट इज टेंडेलन बर्ग पोजिशन ऑल राइट मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइज आइडेंटिफाई आइडेंटिफाई द इक्विपमेंट राइट बो दिस क्वेश्चन वेर आस्ट इन लास्ट इयर आई एन आई सी टी एज वेल एज इन नीट पी जी आइडेंटिफाई द इक्विपमेंट वेदर इट इज एन आई वी नॉन इनवेजिव वेंटिलेटर वेदर इट इज एच एफ एन सी हाई फ्लो नेजल कैन्यूला वेदर दिस इज नेजल कैन्यूला और वेदर दिस इज ऑक्सीजन कॉन्सेंट्रेटर आइडेंटिफाई द इक्विपमेंट bang on bang on everybody of you are bang on for this question wonderful right though this is this is hfnc that is high flow nasal cannula high flow nasal cannula right you can see your nasal cannula right and it is attached to a tubing which is going via this this is your humidifier right this is your humidifier that you are able to see here and along with that again you will see that this is your flow meter or flow rate from where we will determine how much amount of oxygen is to be delivered right what is the maximum amount or what is the amount in liters per minute that we can give oxygen to the patient in this yes guys how much liters or how much is the amount of oxygen that can be given yes guys what is the flow rate 30, 15, फायर फ्लैक फिफ्टीन तो अपने नॉर्मल इसमें भी होता है राइट इन आर नॉर्मल नेजल कैनुला वी कैन इवन गो अप टू फिफ्टीन लीटर्स बट यूजली इट इज अ लो फ्लो बट स्टिल द फ्लो मीटर विल शो यू अप टू फिफ्टीन लीटर्स राइट हंड्रेड परसेंट इज एफ आई ओ टू एफ आई ओ टू इज हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट अप टू हंड्रेड परसेंट कैन बी डिलीवर्ड विद दिस नेजल कैनुला राइट दैट इज एफ आई ओ टू बट लीटर्स पर मिनिट वी कैन गिव around 60 to 70 liters per minute of oxygen via this high flow nasal cannula look at the name therefore the name is high flow nasal cannula therefore the name very high flow rates you can keep right it is not your like routine low flow rate right it is a high flow therefore the name hfnc high flow nasal cannula all right ठीक है, the FiO2 which can be delivered is around 100% maximum and the flow rate maximum that it can be kept here is around 60 to 70 liters per minute is how much is the flow rate or how much is our minute ventilation that we require guys, right? Suppose a 50 kg male is there, right? And what will be the minute ventilation of this, right? Minute ventilation is how much? Tidal volume into respiratory rate, right? So what is the tidal volume for 50 kg male? Five into six, around three hundred to four hundred is the tidal volume, right? Into respiratory rate twelve, right? So if we multiply twelve by four hundred, how much it will be? It will be around five liters, right? So around five liters is our minute ventilation there. That is means in one minute we require a total of five liters of air or oxygen, right? Now see how much is the flow rate with high flow nasal cannula? It is sixty liters per minute, guys. Almost 12 to 13 times that that of the normal minute ventilation. That is why it is known as high flow nasal cannula. Got it, guys? समझ में आया? Yes. Did you understand little bit of basics here? Therefore, you require a humidifier in this, and these are the flow rates, flow meters that we have to keep it. All right. we can discuss this in great depth in great detail when we discuss about the covid based scenarios how is the lung ventilation how does it function there we'll discuss that as well later all right next question on your screen identify the size of this iv cannula which is this iv cannula size right it is green color right so whether this is 16 gauge whether this is 18 gauge whether this is 20 gauge or 22 gauge right divya says 20 Firefly, Ruhi says 18. Success says B. Buddha says 18. 18. Ruthuja says it is 16. Swati, MS, Divya, Ravi, all of you are telling that is option B. That is 18. Mai says 16. All right, all right. So instead of green, if I tell you that it is a pink color ka IV cannula, right? 
then tell me what will be the flow rate right instead of green if i tell you it is a pink color iv cannula then what will be your flow rates oh size sorry not flow rate size right if it is pink color what will be the size pink color iv cannula what will be the size bang on guys yes now if it is blue color if it is blue color iv cannula what will be the size the color of the iv cannula if it is blue what will be the size yes it is option d that is 22 very nice very nice guys so if it is gray color if it is gray color iv cannula what will be the size gray color right if the cannula color is gray what will be the size of the cannula 16 22 26 24 14 yes now tell me if the color is yellow if the size or uh, what will be the size if the color is yellow right what will be the size of iv cannula if the color is yellow yellow color iv cannula what is the size right bang on bang on. yes so it is 24 gauge yellow color gray all of you have given correct answer it is 16 gauge very good blue 22 gauge pink 20 gauge and green here is nothing but it is 18 gauge right so green color iv cannula it is 18 gauge how do you remember this guys how do you remember with the help of this beautiful beautiful picture which is there right you can see below it is lava right lava is yellow or lava is orange in color below the earth's crust yes you can see the lava boiling what is the color of that it is yellow orange right so lava is orange right above that is the soil soil is green color that we are taking up all right above that is the grass green colored grass or green color plants right above that is the beautiful pink flower that you can see then comes your sky which is blue in color then comes your sun which is yellow in color and then the vast galaxy which is there which is multicolored or you can say violet or purple in color right the stars twinkling very distantly all right so what is it lava is orange right so orange so 14 16 18 20 22 24 and purple that we have seen is the galaxy which is 26 right so starting from your lava then your soil then comes your green colored plants or grass then comes your flower then comes the sky then comes the sun and then the vast galaxy all right guys Samaj mein aaya sabko? yes so this is a very very easy thing if you remember this picture you will always remember this right okay now sometimes you can be asked about the flow rates as well right till now it has not been asked it can be asked and in some gts you must have encountered that flow rate be pushed there right so if you start from 26 gauge right that is our violet or purple color right the flow rate approximately is 10 to 13 liters per minute right ml per minute right 10 to 13 milliliters per minute right then you can just keep on correlating it right maximum is 240 to 250 you don't have to be exactly correct you just have to know that 240 to 260 or 250 around is the 14 gauge thing why because different manufacturer will give you different flow rates it depends upon the length of the cannula as well all right so for 26 it is around 10 liters for 24 it is around 20 for 22 it is around 30 for 20 it is around 60 then 90 and double that are off is 180 and maximum is 240 to 250 ml per minute right that is how it goes okay so do you have to remember exactly the flow rates no just an approximate idea should be more than enough all right so if you see 18 ka half if you divide it by 2 it is around 9 so 18 gauge it is around 90 right 16 is more close to your 160 or 180 all right with 26 it is the lowest so it is around 10 ml per kg double the out of that is 20 ml per minute and 14 is maximum that is 250 
got it guys so it is in the approximate range that you have to remember it lesser the gauge more is the flow rate yes prachi that is what is the norm here so the lesser the gauge the more will be the flow rate right the more is the gauge the lesser will be the flow rates right so if you see in neonates we will use 26 or 24 because the size is very small right so in neonate this was also a question asked this this year right this year zionicity this question was asked if you want to cannulate a neonate which of the following color iv cannula will you use or gauge of iv cannula will you use right this year zionicity question so 24 and 26 is the preferred one for neonates newborn babies okay got it guys everybody shall we move on to the next question any doubts in this any doubts here all right moving on to the next question blue pipeline in ot is for which anesthetic gas is it for air is it for oxygen is it for nitrous oxide or is it for vacuum blue pipeline in ot is for which anesthetic gas air oxygen nitrous oxide or vacuum excellent excellent guys most of you have given correct answers so far it is nitrous oxide yes so let us come back to the discussion this is the blue color pipeline that you are able to see right it was asked again in this year right blue color pipeline right Pehle kya te, what they used to ask previously was cylinder color right but now they are even asking about the pipeline color so you should know the pipeline color of all the pipelines right which are used so yellow color pipeline guys what is the gas or what is the yellow color pipeline standing for yes what is the yellow color pipeline is it containing air oxygen nitrous oxide or vacuum yellow color pipeline yellow color pipeline exactly correct guys yes it is for vacuum right so it is a vacuum or suction also can be a suction port so it is vacuum all right so what about the white color pipeline white the white knight that we call right the savior white color pipeline the white knight the savior of us right what is the gas which always always saves us exactly correct guys so it is oxygen right it is oxygen white color pipeline is oxygen Abhi kya bacha? what is left out is black color black color pipeline stands for what black color pipeline in the operation theater or in the hospital it stands for what what is it carrying the only thing which is left out here guys is air right so it is carrying air right so remember whenever you are asked the question it is not just you have to understand or mug it up ki bhai, okay blue color pipeline is for nitrous oxide blue color pipeline is for nitrous no you have to understand that topic this is why we say previous years topics are very important right so blue color pipeline nitrous oxide white color for oxygen black color for air and yellow color is for vacuum right the examiner is not going to ask you the same question again blue color pipeline in the ot is for which anesthetic gas no he's going to change or modify the question but the topics can be same got it guys this so this is how you have to prepare for your examination whenever it comes for your exam right so before we move on to the next question i just want to tell you what we have launched right so currently there is this achievers batch on an academy which is going on beautiful batch four months of duration started just last week that is 21st of november and it is containing everything right it is containing your rapid revision theory it is containing your mcq modules right in which image based question previous year's question everything will be covered right again there are topic wise subject wise test grand test and also doubt session which will be there right four months just uh, for around 12 pm so wonderful wonderful batch which has been launched also for the prof 2 batch there is a wonderful package it will consist of recorded as well as live 
classes right so you can get the live batch which is just started from 15th of november also you will get recorded extensive exhaustive coverage of for your second year examination right so these are your subscription packages for prof one that is first year mbbs second year mbbs third year mbbs depending upon the months that you want you can use and also you can use the code dr hitesh to avail that extra 10 percent off right so shall we move on to the next question here right blue pipeline is ot we have just now seen this all right yes everybody Shall we move on to the second question? Next question, just give me a quick nod if you all are again there on the chat. All right. So next question on your screen is here. Which layer is not pierced during the following procedure? Ligamentum flavum, arachnoid matter, supraspinous ligament or skin? Which layer is not pierced during the following procedure right so first of all which is the procedure which is being performed here right looking at the needle looking at the procedure you should be able to tell and once you know the procedure then you have to tell me what is the exact layer which is not pierced here right so is it option a ligamentum flavum is it option b arachnoid matter is it option c supraspinous ligament or is it option c D your skin right so as we can see that skin layer is to being pierced for sure right so is it a lumbar puncture no this is a epidural procedure which is being performed right epidural procedure right so whenever we perform epidural procedure which are the layers which are pierced skin subcutaneous tissue supraspinous ligament interspinous ligament yes ligamentum flavum then comes your dura matter then comes your arachnoid matter then comes your pia matter and then comes your spinal cord right so epidural epidural epi means above right above the dura matter so this is a dura about the dura matter that is there right so this is the space where we have to give epidural anesthesia right so this is above the dura matter right and whenever we go with sub arachnoid block that is spinal it is below the spinal sub arachnoid block sub means below right so this is where we give spinal anesthesia so here which is the layer which is not pierced ligament of flame is it pierced yes it is being pierced right arachnoid matter is it pierced no it is below the dura matter right supraspinous ligament is it pierced yes we can see supraspinous ligament is pierced skin of course it is pierced so which is the correct answer here arachnoid matter option b is your correct answer right this is not a lumbar puncture guys this is your epidural anesthesia right lumbar puncture will come to that in our next session in our next session when we discuss the image based mcqs i'll show you spinal needle epidural needle and other needles simultaneously so that you are able to identify what type of needle it is and what procedure is being performed all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this short sweet and crisp session today all right so thank you all for joining in for today's session i am gonna see you in our next one till then stay blessed stay disciplined and stay motivated guys bye bye good night and thank you for joining in